Richard in driving through Texas, listening on Sirius. Hey, Richard, you wanted to get back to the uh, police officers uh, stealing your money? Yeah, um, I heard a uh, an interview with someone recently that is uh, doing a report on this stuff, and apparently he was saying that there is a officer who used to be with the California Highway Patrol that is now going around nationwide to different police departments um, explaining to them exactly how to profile people who may be carrying large sums of money just for these kinds of seizures. Wow. And just so they can steal your money, basically. Yeah, he documented a story of uh, these two guys that were driving through, I want to say, Missouri or Iowa or somewhere, and um, the guys were professional poker players. They go to these tournaments all over the country and play poker. They mm-hmm. were carrying over 90000 in cash in a briefcase. Right. The police stopped them, searched their vehicle, found the briefcase, threatened to destroy the briefcase if the guy didn't give them the combination to open it, found the 90000 seized it, and only gave them back ten grand if they signed... Or no, they gave them back everything but 10000 if they signed a document that said they wouldn't press charges against the police. And these guys were never charged with anything. Right. Nothing at all. The, the police, apparently the police found like less than a gram of uh, marijuana in the vehicle, and the guy had a medical marijuana card from California. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was like they even, the police even notified the authorities in California that they suspected these guys of being big-time drug dealers, and the authorities in California raided the guy's house. Amazing. Amazing. And they, they were never charged with anything in the state that they were stopped in. We have totally jumped the shark in this country. And and this is the criminal justice system that preys on little people. It preys on average people. It preys on working people. It preys on, on you know, pe- poker players. Then there's the criminal justice system that HSBC went before, where they laundered hundreds of millions of dollars for narco traffickers, murderers, gang members, um, you know, rogue states like North Korea. And... They get a slap. They pay a small fine, and not one single name, not one single bankster is named in the, that criminal complaint, and nobody goes to jail. This is it, it, we're not just an, an oligarchy, Richard. We have become a kleptocracy, a, a government that steals from its own people. It's a horrible thing, Richard. Thank you for the call. Thanks for the heads up on that.